Hi everyone, Aiden here at the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rhino Rack roof rack system for your factory tracks. So if you've got a camper shell that came with some factory tracks here and you want to put a roof rack on it, this is the way to go. These Rhino Rack legs and crossbars will attach to those tracks, be able to move back and forth, and easily detach when not in use, leaving just those tracks behind. Now, if you need the full system because your camper shell doesn't have tracks, you can find those here at eTrailer too. We do sell the full kits. So if you need just the crossbars, this is the video for you. If you need the full kit, my friend AJ actually did do an install on this exact camper shell using the full kit. And you can watch that here at eTrailer if you need it to walk you through the process of installing those tracks. His video uses the Rhino Rack HD crossbars. This one is going to use the Rhino Rack Vortex bars. They're the exact same track system, just different crossbars. So keep that in mind if you're watching his video. Let's check these out. Like any other roof rack system, this is gonna be a great way to just mount some extra stuff up on top of your vehicle if you don't have room for it inside or if you just wanna get some things elevated. I think where this really could excel is something like a tent or a kayak. Kayaks obviously are gonna be pretty large and having the ability to put it on top of our camper shell and keep it in place over our vehicle, not sticking out too far in the back, is gonna be a great way to carry it. And the same goes for something like a tent. A roof rack system like this is gonna have a little bit more weight capacity than if you were to put it on just the roof. With this, it's gonna be able to handle up to 220 pounds. Now do keep in mind that's what the roof rack system is rated for, not necessarily your camper shell, so check that too just to be safe. But that slightly boosted weight capacity compared to a typical roof rack is gonna be helpful for those larger items like tents or awnings. Now this install can look a little bit different depending on the truck you put it on. Because anywhere from a mid-size truck to a full-size truck, you're gonna have different clearances, your tracks might be mounted up differently, things like that. But some things to know is that those legs are gonna be three inches tall, giving us a good amount of room underneath our bars for clamp around accessories, but still keeping things low profile enough to look good and sleek. The other thing to consider is the crossbar length. Those are gonna be 54 inches long. So go to your truck, your camper shell, whatever setup you've got running that you plan on putting these on and see how that's gonna line up and how far out it's gonna extend. On our truck today, it does leave a little bit of overhang. I think perfectly fine for maybe something like a kayak carrier to make it easier to reach. When considering mounting accessories, you can also use the T-Track on those crossbars, using the included key to pop the end caps off and peeling the weather strip up to reveal that T-Track. Now Rhino Rack's weather strip gonna have to be peeled back and cut to length to fit around your T-Track accessories rather than one where you just push down and slide the accessory into place and the weather strip conforms around it like you might expect on a Yakima crossbar. So if that's a concern for you, just watch out for it. Personally, because of the way Rhino Rack does this, I would stick to clamp around accessories unless you're putting just one or two accessories that are gonna live up here all the time. Then yeah, cut it to length and customize it for your needs. And when you're done, pop the cover back in, use that tool to lock it, and that keeps that T-Track safe inside. And a little bit underneath that, we're gonna have locking covers for the legs. These all come key to like. And when the covers pop out, it reveals these tabs we can pinch together to basically unlock these legs. So they're very quick to release. And I'll show you when I pop those tabs out, these studs pop out, and that's what holds them locked into place. So once you've got it set up for the first time, just drop it in, pop those tabs out, lock the cover on, and you're good to go. So it's very quick to remove when you don't need it. The included Allen key can be used to loosen up two bolts on these bases and allow you to slide them back and forth along the track and customize your crossbar spread. So once those towers and crossbars are undone, all you gotta do is just loosen those and tighten that up whenever you've got it in this place that you want it. So it's a really simple adjustment process and really nice if you are gonna be switching between accessories a lot that require different crossbar spreads. And if you're leaving the crossbars uninstalled, 
It comes with these nice covers to keep things all protected underneath there. So the hardware isn't exposed to the elements, but also just clean up the look on top of your truck. And if you are looking for the installation of the tracks as well, we will talk a little bit about it just so you know what you're getting into. Again, check out AJ's video if you want that full explanation of what that process looks like. But essentially, you will wanna get those tracks lined up, make sure they're running parallel to one another, and it will require some drilling with anchors then underneath the camper shell, which you can see running the whole length there. So those knobs will get tightened down and secure the tracks to the camper shell. But if you've already got that track system and you just wanted a way to attach crossbars to it, then I hope this video was helpful. I think it's gonna be a really simple setup process, utilizing those tracks to expand your cargo space. And when it's not in use, it leaves behind a very clean look where it's just ready to go for next time. We can drop those crossbars in, load up our stuff and be on our way. Anything that simplifies that process, especially when you're having to deal with a tall truck where you may be using step stools, ladders, trying to get everything set up, I think is a win. But that's just been our quick look at the Rhino Rack roof rack system for factory track systems. Thanks for watching.